Hello everyone, I'm Lucas Stocky and I work as a software engineer in the developers tool team in Red Dot, where our goal is to create tools for uh, developers to enhance their experience with our hybrid uh, cloud platform. In this demo, I'm going to present you the new version of OpenShift BSTS extension, an extension for Microsoft Azure DevOps, which allows you to uh, connect to your remote OpenShift cluster and execute OC command directly from a yum defined pipeline. So in this demo we're going to see how easily it is to install the extension, set up a pipeline, and how is it possible to deploy your application from your GitHub repo to your OpenShift cluster using an Azure DevOps pipeline. So let's go ahead. Before to start using our extension, there are a few things we have to take care of. First of all, we need an OpenShift cluster running. If you don't have any, you can go to openshift.com slash trial and sign up for the trial version, which is the one we're going to use in this demo. And it's free and it's perfect to start playing and experimenting OpenShift. Then you need an Azure DevOps account. And once you log in, in your organization, we have to create our own project. And then I'm going to create one demo. So after we created our project, we can then install our extension. And so let's go to the marketplace. You can find the URL in the description of the video. Then get it free. Here we have to select our organization and then click on install. After the installation is completed, you can find your extension in manage extensions. And now we can finally setting up our OpenShift service connection. So let's go back to our project, click on project settings, service connections, new service connection. And here let's click on OpenShift. Now you can find three different authentication forms. For the basic authentication, we choose as username and password, the token, which uses a token API, and then an authentication, which uses the content of the QBAC TL configuration file. For this demo, we're going to use the token authentication. As I said before, uh, we have an OpenShift online cloud account. So we log in in the administration panel uh, if you click on the icon on the top right of your window and then command line tools, copy login command and finally display token, you will find all the information you need to set up your OpenShift service connection. So let's copy what we need, in this case the API token, the server URL and then we have to give a name to this service connection, which is the name that we're going to use in our pipeline. Then make sure to have this checkbox checked because it allows all pipelines to use this service connection. So after our service connection is created, you can find all the information here. And now we're ready to create our own pipeline. So let's click on the rocket icon, pipelines, create pipeline and now we have to choose uh, where is our code we created a new repo not JS example which contains um, a simple application so uh, let's click on github not JSX and then this is the standard pipeline created by Azure uh, so it seems okay, we just have the npm install script, so to start it, it's okay. Let's run this and eventually it will succeed. So as you can see the job is queued. So now the job is completed and if you click on the job you can find all the steps that are run sequentially 
uh, as a unit and if you go on your repo you can also find that there is a new file azure pipeline.yam which is the script we commit from our azure devops account so now let's get back to our project and we can start editing our pipeline Open Shift VSTS extension provides three different tasks that can be used in your pipeline. Execute OC command, install and set up OC, and update config map. In this demo, what we want to do is to deploy our application on our cluster every time the master branch on our GitHub repo is updated. So what we do is to first set up our project in OpenShift and then after we update our master we run our pipeline to see if our new version is pushed on our OpenShift. So let's start. First I'm going to use an execute OC command task for the service connection I'm going to pick my OpenShift which is the service connection we created before. Uh, for the version of OC to use, I'm going to pick the 4.2 and the command to run, start a new build. Uh, so every time I run this pipeline, the OC start build command will be executed and uh, OpenShift will take the source code from our GitHub repo, will create a new image, and this will be pushed. So let's keep all these options. Let's add. And then I want to create another task to check the status of my cluster. So 4.2 comment run was the status. And that's it. Let's save. Then if we go to our repo, we can find that our Azure Pipeline YAML file has been updated. And now we need to set up our OpenShift cluster with our project. So, new terminal. <coughs> Let's find the command to log in to the cluster, which is, can be found in the uh, web page we used before to set up our OpenShift service connection. And as you can see here, I already have a project, but if you don't have one, you can create one with the new project command. Because I'm using the trial version, I'm allowed to create just one project. So I'm going to use the, the one I already have. Um, now I'll create a new app so that uh, a new application image is created by my source code. And I'm going to give it a name. <coughs> So OpenShift will also construct a deployment configuration to deploy to deploy the, the new image which is created by <coughs> from our source code. Uh, there is an error, okay, because I already have a Node.js example. So let's delete everything. <coughs> Okay, so I deleted everything and I can start the new build again. <coughs> and finally, my application has been pushed on my cluster and 
I expose the service to the outside world so we can uh, go and visit and see my application from URL. So this is the URL we need to visit. And finally, we have our Supernode.js application available. So what we want to do now is to uh, push the new version of our application every time our master is updated. So what we do is to edit our index HTML. So let's go here. Let's change the title. We'll come to our demo. So after we updated the title, if we run our pipeline, the new version will be pushed to, to our cluster and we should be able to see the new release. The job completed. And if you click on it, you can see the output of each step. So the OC start build no JS follow and then the OC status command. So if we go to the web page and we refresh it, we see the new version of our application. Until now, we only use Microsoft Hosted Agent, so let's see how we can use our self-hosted agent to run our pipeline. So, first of all, let's run, let's start our agent. And now, let's edit our pipeline. Uh, when using a self-hosted agent, uh, we can take advantage of another setting we added to the OpenShift BSTS extension, use local OC. When this setting is set to true, we're telling the extension to use the OC CLI already installed in the machine. So let's suppose we have this task, we're asking the extension, use my OpenShift service connection, use OC version 4.2, run this command and use the local OC CLI. Uh, so the extension will check if there is an OC CLI installed in the machine, if its version is 4.2, if it is then it's going to use this, otherwise the version 4.2 will be downloaded and installed and then the command will be executed. If we don't want to specify the version of OC to be used, we can also remove the version input so that the extension will use the OC CLI found no matter uh, what it what its version is. Uh, so to test if it works we just remove all the commands and let's keep just the OC version to see if the OC used is really the one I have in my machine. Then let's change the pool. and let's save and run this pipeline. Then let's check which is the version of the OC I have installed in my machine 3.11. So eventually the pipeline will print this version.
And as you can see, my local CCLI has been used to run this pipeline. So if you have a machine which for security concern uh, cannot connect to the internet, you can use this option and install your OCCLI in your machine and then the extension will work the same without downloading uh, the OCCLI from, uh, from internet. Another option we have with extension is that we can feed it with the URL where OCCLI can be found and downloaded. To do this, we can use the version input to insert the URL we want to use. For this example, uh, I want to download the uh, OC version 4.1. So I'll go in mirror.openshift.com. I'm using Linux. And here I will copy my URL. So by executing this uh, pipeline, uh, I'm going to tell to the extension to execute the OC version command to use the OC found in this URL and to use my OpenShift service connection. Let's run this. And we can see that the version used is 4.1 as requested. This was a quick demo. I hope you found this useful. If you have any question or suggestion, we wait you in our GitHub repo. You can find our OpenShift ESTS extension in the marketplace. Thank you for your attention and see you online.